welcome back to the channel it's a new thing to the match day sequel i'm gonna be doing and it's player ratings i'll do the preview i'll do the vlog but now i'm adding a new segment to the match day schedule and it is the player ratings let's get into it it's it's as it is, I'm going to be rating every single player's game and how they did. Let's get into it. Okay then, so the first player we are going to be rating, I'll write it down on here, is the goalkeeper, Marshall. We're going to be rating them in order of position, how they were. So Marshall, um, he didn't do too badly. He did all the stuff he had to do, he did well. And it was, just can I say, it was a boring first half. And we should have won. But Marshall, he did all the stuff he needed to do well, so I'm going to give him a 5. Next player, Eric Lehigh. Re did what he had to do really well. For me, he's in contention for my player of the month which I will do the first preview of November. But he really did do what he needed to do well when in that game. And for that reason, I'm going to give him a six because he had a bit more to do than Marshall. Device, I'm also going to rate a six because... Um... He's just really improved. He's really improved. He had more to do. Yeah. He's really improved. He looks more worth the money now. He's got the skill. No doubt about it. We were just... Me and my mate Lewis were discussing this in the last game. He said this. No doubt he's got the skill. And I completely agree with Lewis there. He just hasn't got the correct football in mind yet. And he hasn't quite got to speed the championship. But he's got experience next to him now from Tommy Elphick. And that's really helped him, I think. Moving on to Elphick. Um, obviously, had that moment where he was like feeling his Achilles like down here or whatever. I can't get my leg up that high to get the camera. He obviously had butted Reese back. <laughs> but still a good game. And I'm going to give him the same treatment as Device with a six. But next, I'm going to give him a seven because he didn't have necessarily more to do than Device, but no, not Beck, Elphick and Lehigh. But he offered a bit more on the attacking front. He had a shot in the first half. Oh my word. From like 25 yards out, hits the post. We needed that to go in. Um. Oh yeah, another thing. Lehigh Mr. Sitter. But yeah, but because he had he was he made more challenges, he got stuck in, he did more with what he had to do than the rest of the defence. So I'm gonna give him a seven. Does that even work? It looks like the seven that I've written on my page anyway. Tokin! He didn't necessarily do worse than any of the other defenders, but he just didn't have much to do. He didn't have much to do. So for that reason, it's a five. Now to the two midfielders. Batty the first. Honestly, we really missed him in the middle of that field. Once when he was injured, we missed him so much. He's definitely better than Henriksen. So, Batty, I'm gonna give him a five because he wasn't necessarily too involved in it, but he still did what he had to do well. Same with Irvine, really. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give Jackson a five as well. Because he just did it, he just got on he just got on with it. Wasn't necessarily too involved in the second half. Yeah. Bowen. Next. Jared Bowen. 
He obviously scored the penalty, which boosts his rating up a little bit. Because I was initially going to give him a 5, but I'm going to give him a 6 now, because he scored the penalty. But other than scoring that penalty, he didn't really do too much else. So I'm going to give him a 6. Kamil Grzycki next. Um, first half, he didn't do anything. Second half, he changed that game. And the second half performance is what has saved his rating for me. You know? He has... He's just shown what quality he's actually got there. With his runs. He can absolutely obliterate this league when he's on form. But when is he on form? But because of his second half performance, he he absolutely lit up the second half. I'm going to give him a 6.5. Now Chris Martin. Do I really want to go into this? I was, when I was making these raids out of the game, I was initially going to give him a 2. Because I told you what I thought in the preview, but he's not good. He just hasn't shown what he can do yet. So to us City fans, he's not very good. But he, has, but he did win the penalty that we scored. And he was more in the thick of it in the second half. He had a go. In the first half, he was just slaughtering around like this. Oh, what, the ball's come to me. Oh, it's in the air. Oh, wait. It's actually, like, this much above me. I have to jump for that. But in the second half, it was in the thick of it all. And he really... It was, it was a tale of two halves for Chris Martin, as it was for Krasicki. First half he did nothing, second half he was more into it. He was more, he was challenging more. And now that's it for the start 11. Now the subs, we made our subs very, very, very late. Campbell came on first for um, Chris Martin. Didn't do too much. So for that reason, I'm not going to give him a rating because he only had five minutes. Dicko came on for Kamil Gazicki. He only had five minutes as well, so I'm not going to rate him as well. In the 95th minute, Adkins brought Batty off for Stewart. And Stewart literally had 30 seconds on the pitch. So, for that reason, I'm not going to rate Kevin Stewart's performance either. So, that's the player ratings done. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on it. Subscribe for more Hull City related content throughout the week. Um, the preview for next weekend's game will be uploaded from a hotel in London. Yeah. And I'll see you on... Tuesday for the preview to Hull City versus Bristol City. I'll see you then. Goodbye.